mother of three killed hours after posting about six-figure income, photo. A Florida woman, Makeva Jenkins, has been killed hours after revealing she is making a six-figure salary. Recalling how she went from being homeless to making six figures, the 33-year-old married mother of three took to Facebook to share how proud she is about herself. Recalling how she went from being homeless to making six figures, the 33-year-old married mother of three took to Facebook to share how proud she is about herself. She took to Facebook to share a chat conversation which she captioned. I'm in awe of how far I've come. This lady reached out to me about my business plans. We've been Facebook friends for years but the last time we spoke through private message was a 2011. In this message I was inquiring about Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University offered through her church. I couldn't even afford $99 at that time. Fast forward to now, we overcame being homeless in 2013-2014 to reaching my six-figure mark in 2015 to now making multi-six figures. No matter what the road looked like, I followed my heart and stuck with it growing my business. I'm saying this to say, anyone can do it. It takes determination and consistency. Barely two hours after posting on Facebook, a masked man knocked at her front door on Plumbago Place near Santa Luce's High School, just west of Boynton Beach. The masked man was said to have walked in, and was met by the people inside. It was during an altercation that he shot Jenkins fatally. No one knows who the target was in the home. The shooting happened 2 a.m., the masked man fled in the family's vehicle and ditched it nearby, a sheriff's spokesperson said. Jenkins was rushed to a hospital where she died. A visit to Jenkins' Facebook page shows that the family members also fear the Facebook posts led to her death. Regretfully, the news reports are true. The family of Makeva Jenkins asks that their privacy be respected at this most trying time. All of your love, condolences, and well wishes are appreciated, however, please are refrain from calling or texting concerning the events. Please keep the family in your prayers.